Hey guys, welcome back again. Today I've got another upgrade on my 2018 Chevy Silverado, but this upgrade will work on just about any vehicle that has a two inch receiver on. This upgrade is for the Nylite 2P 60 watt trailer hitch mount pod lights. And guys, 60 watts on backup lights is insane. This thing, you can see your trailer, you can see anything you're backing up, no matter how dark you've got your windows tinted. This upgrade right here is exactly what you need so you can see when you're backing your truck up after dark. Now I have read other reviews on this trailer hitch mount and there are some fitment issues that I'm gonna go over there's some minor modifications that I made just to make this thing fit my truck better but let's get started I'll show you what I got this thing comes with the two-piece trailer hitch mount that just goes right around your trailer hitch here and one of the first fitment issues if your trailer hitch has a weld or anything that sticks up around the receiver right here this will have a hard time fitting on it because it's actually cut milled out so it fits right around your trailer hitch and this is a tight fit so if you have any welds on here you may have to do some minor grinding on this i didn't have to do that but i have seen other reviews where that's been an issue it obviously comes with the lights and these are super bright 60 watt led pod lights they're a four inch diameter they're kind of a combination with a flood and a spotlight there so this lights up the entire area and i'm going to show you how to mount these so you can give them some turn and they also swivel back and forth so you can aim them exactly where you want them at let's get started on this first thing you'll want to do is take this and turn it so the recessed area is facing the back of your truck and that will fit right down over your receiver there. And that should be a snug fit there. Same way on the larger piece. Now this does mount top or bottom, just depends on your application. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna mount this so the lights are really tucked up under here, but still have full adjustability on them. And again, this is on a 2018 Chevy Silverado. This is just a WT cheap work truck. This does come with the screws or Allen head bolts to secure this together. Just one bolt in each side of it. This bottom piece goes on the same way. You just pull that up around the receiver since I've got it upside down here my bolts do go in from the bottom to get one side started and go ahead and start the other side when you do this too you might want to make sure that you still have room here to pull your, your hitch pin out turn this in a way that everything fits this is a snug fit back here and you want to make sure on the bottom here you can still get to where you need to hook up your safety chain so you may need to flip this around depending on how you want to mount it once you get these in, pull this back as far as it'll go and then just tighten it down. And you want to tighten it even on both sides. So just snug one side down, leave a little bit of a gap here and then tighten the other side down. Just keep in mind, this is a cast aluminum, so don't over tighten this. It's real easy to strip these out in aluminum. All right, one modification that I made here when you get this thing, it only has this one hole right here. I drilled a second hole out here closer to the end so that when I mount my light in here, I can mount it on top of this. If you try to mount it in that hole right there, there's not enough room for that to slide over that way so you can't fit that. So I just drilled another hole out here. That way it fits right underneath this little cutout that's already in your bumper. And there's room on both sides. I drilled the hole on both sides and that gives me room to put those lights in there on both sides of that hitch. So let me get these bolted on here and then I'll show you how to hook up the wiring. Now when you connect this little mounting bracket to your light, there is a nut captured down in the light itself and that will slide back and forth. So you're gonna put your bracket, a regular washer, and then a lock washer, and then just tighten your nut down through that. Now in my case, I wanna slide this light all the way to the outside so you can move that bracket. And when you get this installed, that will slide back and forth. You can put yours wherever you see fit. And then what you gotta do is to mount this to the hitch, take your other nut. You get four nuts and four bolts with this. The two shorter bolts go straight into the light. The two longer nuts are for mounting it onto the hitch itself. And this drops down in here so that you can put that in there. You can take an Allen wrench or something and line that up. And then you put your mounting bolt right through that. All right, and then once you get that nut in there, you gotta keep this lined up so it helps to tighten this one down and that'll kind of hold that in place so it doesn't slide around so you can get this one through the hitch itself. And what I'll do is take the lock washer, put it on the bolt first, then the regular washer, put it on there, put your light where you want it at, and then come up through the hitch and start this bolt in the light. And go ahead and tighten these down. These are a 14 millimeter. You can aim this a little bit. You can kind of turn it a little bit towards the center or you can turn it so it points towards the outside. And you can also slide this light in and out. I want mine out as far as I can get it. And then we're gonna tighten both bolts down exactly where they're at. And when you get that tightened down, 
that's tucked up nice and secure right underneath that bumper right there and that gives you a lot of protection for those lights and gives you good visibility for the lights shining out go ahead and get this one on here and then we'll get the wires hooked up when you get these installed they should look like that you got just enough clearance here under the bumper so that that fits on there very nicely same way on this side i do have them both kind of angled out to the sides a little bit i still have room to get to my pin here for my hitch to be able to remove my receiver once you get to this point then i'll show you how to hook the lights up now there are a few ways to hook these lights up if your truck has this seven way receiver your center pin on these seven way plugs now this plug here is not the plug i'm talking about your little four-way plug it has to be this seven pin connector here. Your center pin here, or there's a white wire, I believe, on the back of it. That is your reverse lights for your trailer hitch. You can also run a wire from the light up to your reverse lights in your truck if you wanna do that. One thing you're gonna to have to plan for is each one of these lights only has about a six inch tail coming off of it so what you need to do is find a way to connect those together and what I did is just ran them up over my hitch and I'm gonna tie these back in here with a tie wrap to the factory bumper chain attachment since I've got the hitch down here I don't need those what I did was took some extra wire here that I had at the shop and what I'm gonna do is take a couple pieces of heat shrink tubing slide these over the end of these and I'm going to solder this together so this connection here will be extremely well made. And then I'll show you how we're going to connect it to the reverse light on the trailer plug underneath. All right, I connected my wires here. I did put some flux on this. I've got my piece of heat shrink tubing already on here. Go ahead and heat this up. I've got the wires from the light pushed up into the wire I'm going to connect to the power out. Go ahead and heat this up. We're going to put some solder on it. Once you get your solder joints completed, go ahead and uh, heat shrink your heat shrink tubing down on it. I'm going to slide another larger piece down over this one because I couldn't get that piece all the way over it. just make sure we got a good connection there that's not going to touch anything or short out on anything all right i don't know how well this will show up but i'm going to try to show you exactly what i'm doing here what i'll do is take the red wire the positive wire from the lights and go ahead and slide this in here and then this wire here it's a white wire with a green stripe goes to the center of your trailer plug you clamp this around that come up over this wire put that on there and I'm gonna to try to get up here as high as I can and just get that down in there all right so now we've got this red wire all the way into this plug we got the green and white wire in there and then you'll take this mash this together and what this does is this little metal piece shorts the two wires together so that you get a completed connection out to those lights so that clicks into place that makes a good solid connection there. And then this clamp shut on it. And then I'll take some tie wraps and I'll tie this up and I'll secure this up here. Now your ground wire, this can go anywhere on the body. All you gotta do is find a bolt or something to just ground this straight to the frame of the vehicle. And that'll give you your positive to your red wire when the reverse lights are on. And then your ground just goes back to the ground of the vehicle. All right, all I did here was just loosen up this bolt. There's a bolt that goes down through here that holds on this license plate bracket. This is a metal bracket that goes straight back to the frame. Just fish that back in there and, and then I'll just tighten this back down. That'll give us a solid ground. That should do it. I'll just take zip ties, tie these up here, make sure they're secure so they don't get into anything. And did the same thing here. I just zip tied this wire up to the factory chain connector that we won't use with this hitch. Give it a nice clean finished look. And then from back here, very minimal wire is going to be visible. And that makes sure those solder connections are good and solid there too. All right, let me go put this thing in reverse and see what we got. your stock reverse light right there and that's your 60 watt LED bulbs there that's literally looking out the garage door in bright daylight before I post this video I'll take this outside after dark and give you a better idea what we can really see here I don't think we'll need much more than that I think mounting them right
right up under that bumper gives it a nice clean look all right this is just a school parking lot i'm just going to show you kind of what we've got here out the front windshield that's my low beams on the front of the truck high beams on the front of the truck so it's a pretty good sized parking lot i'll just park right over here at the end of these uh parking places so that you can kind of get an idea what this looks like i know it's hard to show stuff like this on camera but that's high beams on the headlights low beams on the headlights i'm gonna get out of the truck here and i'm gonna show you what it looks like outside yeah that doesn't look that bad in person if i get real close to it there you can kind of see but the backup camera looks good this is the headlights looking out the front of the truck and i just want to kind of show you that compared to the back stock headlights in the truck nothing special about them but this is the reverse lights so you can kind of see how much of a cast we've got on the light coming out of that and i'll walk back here a little ways you're going one two three four five six seven i mean i can clearly see light all the way out to about eight parking places probably doesn't show up on video then when i turn around here that's got some serious light coming out and you can kind of see I've got the lights kind of aimed off to the side so you can see like a V pattern but compared to the stock reverse lights absolutely no comparison guys if you enjoyed this video consider checking this one out right here another video you might enjoy thanks for watching till next time